Alright, so today I'm going to be talking about the concept of a pallet changer on uh, these brother machines. Uh, normally we've been looking at uh, brother 450s, but I was instructed to talk about the 650 today. So, the only real difference, uh, just start getting started out. I mean, of course, there's a big size difference. Uh, the 650 has an extra 200 millimeters of X travel and a little bit of uh, more Y travel as well. Uh, just because of how much bigger it is, they moved the control panel from the front here over to the side, and that's mostly just so you can see inside of it during a setup. And uh, from the front, of course, they give you this is where your operator is going to be looking, and uh, they'll just pretty much be working this uh, start button here, emergency stop if something goes wrong. This is an add on, I don't know what this does, but uh, that's not quite important. We're getting inside of here. Got, you know, just like a 450, there's a, a tool magazine with all your tools. There's a spindle, and uh, of course the. Let's see if I can move the head for you. Just like any regular machine, you're looking at your part the same way you would uh, any other machine. So really, uh, you're looking at it in this view. This top down. Uh, X will be X, X positive is that way, Y positive is that way, and then uh, of course C positive is still up. That's it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. So uh, getting into the pallet changer part of it, it's really easy. So. Uh, what we're going to talk about really is uh, the difference between two pallets and uh, just how to switch between them. And really, uh, really, ide ideally you'll have two pallets with the exact same setup going on. So like say I'll have just a, maybe a vise over here and a vise on the other pallet. They're just doing the same thing and really the idea is just to have the spin, uh, spindle always on. So you can have one, have one part inside that's cutting. And one part out, outside of here that's getting serviced by an operator or a machinist or whoever you got running the machine. And uh, so, so it sort of takes that load time uh, and sort of eliminates it, makes everything a lot faster. You know, there's, the machine's not just sitting while it's being loaded. And, uh, yeah, that's just, that's just part of the whole speed, speedy experience. There's other pallet changers out there too, but the pallet changing on these machines is wicked fast. I mean, I'll, Make sure I don't have any uh, obstructions or anything there. Looks pretty good. So uh, I just came up with this machine, so I don't know what's all going on inside of it. So, looking pretty good. So just to switch pallets in manual mode, you're just going to hit the pallet index. Should I just take off. This. Now here we got outer door open, and I might have to close this door. It doesn't have a light curtain on it, so you're going to have to close the door. The light curtain will look something like this. So now that we got, still got that alarm, I'm going to reset and see if it goes away. Looks like it's gone, so the pallet index now should swing around. Now, if you're familiar with 450s, it is a little bit faster, Just eh, it's just a weight thing. Uh, the 650 does have a higher weight capacity, so you're going to see a little bit slower on the pallet change. but. Uh, not by a lot. You're still going to be moving pretty quick as you go. But, uh, then looking at just for programs, you're going to have two identical programs in here, so you might be in memory mode. You'll have programs like this. This is like a, this program is for like uh, checking uh, the ball screws. But if you had two of these, and say this would be program 4500 right there, then you might have one that's like I don't know 5500. So you would come into here, your user parameter, and it would be under, normally you come into user parameter, you'd be in a switch one. So I'll start off in switch one. Um, so from switch one, you're gonna wanna page over to quick table, that's what they call it, the pallet changing table, just quick table. 
and you'll be able to designate your programs here. So like, like I said before, this one's like a 1002, that's a 2002. Those are just program numbers that, uh, you know, correspond with programs. So it's going to be a Palette 1 program, Palette 2 program. And uh, really the difference between the Palette 1 and Palette 2 programs is that they'll have like uh, different work offsets. So like in uh, Go Your Workpiece Coordinate Zero, uh, you, would, you would designate a bunch of these. These are the standard coordinates. You can see your extended coordinates here. Um, there's 48 of these on the C control, I believe. Yeah, 48. So you would designate half of them to your palette one, designate half of them to your palette two. So they're separate because you know you're never going to get both palettes in the exact same spot. But you got to treat it like they are on the same. They're they're in the same machining region, so you got to treat them like they're in separate spots. Just Sort of not. It's it's like sharing the space, really. So you'll have like on my if I had one part and one view, you just say this is P1, this is P2. I'll just say you know my parts here on pallet one. I'll say my parts here on pallet two. It doesn't matter as long as it knows you know what where the part is and what pallet it's on. Then everything will work out for you. So if there's uh confusion feel free to let me know in the comments or uh, give us a call well, thanks for watching